another classic third-party character that has history in the gaming industry, history with Nintendo, and stands a chance to be included as a character in the Super Smash Bros. series. Hello everybody, my name is Sniping is Fun, and I welcome you all back to the next character, the next newcomer idea I'm going to talk about in this long-running series of newcomer ideas on the road to 150 of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Spider Pass. Super Smash Bros. series in general. As I mentioned in the last video, character 137 is going to be Spyro the Dragon. I've already done another classic gaming 90s icon the likes of Crash Bandicoot way at the beginning of this list. He was like in the first 10 characters I did. So since I did Crash, I had to eventually do Spyro. He just happened to be super, super late in this series. And on the road to 150, he's 137. And before this intro gets on too long, three separate categories. Why does character make sense for Smash Bros? Moves, ideas, and percentage chance that I actually see them getting into the game. Now, why does Spyro the Dragon make sense to be included um, in, in Smash Brothers? To, be, to, to basically be a character to include, a third party character to include in Smash Bros. over, say, a Ryu Hayabusa, or, you know, the Doom Slayer, the, you know, Minecraft Steve, someone from Fortnite, Shantae, uh, a Mortal Kombat character, whoever the heck else third party characters you can imagine have not been included in Smash Bros. yet, why does he deserve it over them or at least alongside them at least? Well, Spiral, the, not just, you know, the Spiral of the Dragon franchise is an iconic gaming franchise. It may not have started back at the early signs of gaming back in the 70s or 80s, but it's one of the biggest gaming franchises, the most iconic gaming franchise to come out of the 90s. It started exclusively on the PlayStation, with the PlayStation 1, the first three games were exclusively the PlayStation, then it became multi-platform, and it does have multiple appearances on Nintendo, starting with the fourth game with uh, the Year of the Dragon, is that what it was called? Or Dragonfly? Dra Whatever it was, Year of the Dragon was the third one, I believe. Um, whatever, Enter the Dragonfly. Starting with Enter the Dragonfly, pretty much every game since then, Spiral the Dragon Wise has appeared on a Nintendo console. It's not just an iconic gaming franchise in the world of gaming in general, but also on Nintendo. Numerous gaming appearances on the GameCube, the Game Boy Advance, the DS, the Wii, numerous appearances on Wii U, even throughout the like the. <clears throat> Skylanders games and everything. Spyro was included. That's the game series Skylanders originated from Spyro. The original game was basically Spyro Skylanders or something, and he, and then it became its own series. And he just was a character in it. He's still been fairly relevant over those years, even when his series kind of flatlined and died and disappeared. But like I said, the franchise is an iconic gaming franchise, but it's been around for years since the '90s. It, the character is an iconic gaming character too. You don't have to be from the 70s or 80s to be super gaming classics. The 90s, you know, is a gaming era that is classic now. It's iconic. It's nostalgic. It is a classic gaming era, the 90s. Like I said, they also have multiple appearances on Nintendo. And he has, he's a beloved character. A lot of people request him. A lot of people want to see him in Smash Bros. Same as Crash Bandicoot. And because of fan demand and popularity, I think he stands a chance alongside the history of his franchise, not only on Nintendo, but in the gaming industry in general. And then in terms of recent relevancy, well, the Spyro Reunited trilogy came out last year. And I know it's not on Nintendo yet, but the Spyro Ignited trilogy is now rumored for the Nintendo Switch. And we're probably going to get a version of it, a port of it, on the Nintendo Switch sometime in 2019. And if the Crash Bandicoot Insane trilogy came to the Switch, and it did, why wouldn't his you know, remake get ported to the Switch? He's popular on Nintendo as well, and the game has potential on the Switch as well, so... I think the rumors are going to be true, and he's eventually going to be on the Switch anyways. So yeah, quite frankly, I think Spyro has the credentials. A popular gaming icon character that's beloved, has multiple appearances on Nintendo, and the remake relevancy now is likely going to be coming to the Switch anyways. There you go. Um, moveset ideas. Now, I haven't played every single Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. I, it's late. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I was just talking about Crash before. I have not played every single Spyro the Dragon game. I played the first three, and after that, it kind of got rocky post into the Dragonfly and the Hero's Tale and everything. I never really played any stuff that came like on the Wii and whatnot. I didn't really put a whole lot of time in the Skylanders. I think I played demos on that. And I haven't played the Reignited Trilogy yet. But I love Spyro the Dragon. It's one of my favorite game franchises growing up. Um... I had to do a little bit of research, though, given that I haven't played Spyro a lot recently, and I 
I had there are certain special abilities in certain games I wanted to include because I wanted to represent the entire series, not just the classic games, by throwing little bits, little nods to like the PS2, GameCube, Wii, DS, Game Boy Advance type era games too. Just throw a little bit in there, so it's a like reference of the whole character, not just the classics in general, because then you can make his moveset more diverse. And also, it's been a long while since I played uh, Spyro Dragon anything anyway, so I had to remember what he could actually do. So. Obviously, it's he's a bipedal dragon that's on all four legs, and that's going to be his fighting stance. His smash attacks are going to mostly be including charge attacks into supercharge attacks, which would be his, you know, you can charge it up and do a supercharge, or head bashes. He can just stand there and just head bash you, or you can charge forward and... You could charge it and make it supercharged. If you play an extra Spyro Dragon game, you know what it is. When you run around and you hit the sheep, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you just run around, like, mm -hmm. Spyro Dragon, you know, is just running around. If you play any of the games, he it's a, it's a standard attack. You could do just run around, just ready to headbutt people. Um, so basically, he'll do, he'll do a standing head bash, and anything that it includes him bashing his head, using his horns to bash into his opponents. Those would be in his smash attacks, alongside the charge, which could be charged up, you know, for a supercharge. And I wanted to include this given that it's kind of um, an interesting way to do an attack. He could do a wall kick, and it was from the hero, a hero's tail, like on the PS2 and GameCube or whatnot. So you can pretty much use it as a maneuver. It's mostly going to be used as a maneuvering ability. So you can jump off, you can kick off the wall and move around the stage. So he's at least agile enough to move around the stage. But when you wall kick off, you can hit an opponent too. So it's useful to be used as an attack. But it's mainly primarily a ranged movement to get out of the way of opponents or move around on the stage. But the wall kick from a, a hero's tail. Now, his special attacks, I would mainly focus on all the different forms of flame breathing attacks he can shoot from his mouth the standard one obviously being fire so um what i want to do i'm gonna have to write this down i, I wrote this down so i can actually kind of um do it and there's the dragon breaths which are mostly from like a year of the dragon to enter the dragonfly there's a freeze one a bubble one an electricity one and a wind one the freeze one's more like ice based um and obviously fire breath which should be his basic b attack basic standard b should be Shooting out fire. Spyro's been doing that since day one. That has to be his basic special attack is to shoot fire out of his mouth. And then there's like dragon elements from like the Legend of Spyro series like on the PS3 and Wii and whatnot. And it's like fire, ice, electricity, and wind. All of which is the same thing. Like I wrote it down to represent both because there's dragon breaths for like the older games. But then the dragon elements for the newer games. Just mix them together and have him do standard B, breathing fire, and then maybe up B, he shoots ice out, which could probably temporarily freeze opponents. He could shoot bubbles from what, like left or whatever. Down could be like electricity, you could shock an opponent, and then maybe like in the air, you could do wind, like a wind breath that blow opponents away and hurt them a little bit. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. But the standard one, and it should be chargeable, is the fire breath, just like the standard, like smash attack should be a head bash to charge, to be charged up into a supercharge. And then the wall kick but then all the breathing flame like based attacks should be his special attacks of course the obvious one like i said being the fire breath but then like the freeze bubble electricity and wind should all be like like up b down b left b up round b grounded b in the air b whatever um and then his final smash um there's various different special abilities throughout the games that Spyro does learn and it would be probably more interesting to pick one of them for his final smash but given that the flame is his basic attack and pretty much is what he was all about like even in the first game and early on I wanted to make something based off the flame and I'm going to call it the supercharged flame and I would say it's going to be kind of like the Mario finale he just charges up he's gathering the flames you get the final you get the smash while break it he's charging the flames and he's like right here and it'll just be across the stage except maybe instead of like moving forward like this giant flame ball thing like mario finale is it's more just a growing flame like and it just engulfs the stage as it goes on but early on it's just like a little flame coming out of his mouth like so a supercharged flame and it just knocks him back and off on fire getting burnt like blow off the stage yeah. Percentage chance I can see him actually getting in. Ah. He certainly has a chance. 
but I would not say he is the third party to add, at least with the Fighter Pass. He might stand a better chance maybe in a future Smash Bros. game, like Smash 6 or 7 or something, like maybe the next one. If there's if they continue off the Reignited Trilogy and actually get the series back on track because it fell off the rails a long time ago, just like Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot fell off the rails a long time ago. If they get off the Insane Trilogy and start making some good Crash games and some good Spiral games that take off like from the, the elements from the first three games of each, these characters might have more of a chance for Smash Brothers. I think there's a chance there, especially because the Reunited Trilogy makes Spyro more relevant now, and it is likely coming to the Switch. But I do think there's a lot of other third-party characters out there that make more sense, have more history with Nintendo, and probably stand a better chance in terms of relevancy and even popularity to some extent um, for the game. I'm going to give them about 40% chance. It's there. It is, it, is, it is there. There's potential there for the Fire Pass to include Spyro the Dragon. But like I said, like it, it all depended on where the series goes post, you know, reignited trilogy. If there's more of appearances on Nintendo, if the character stays relevant, um, and he's in competition with like a hundred other third party characters, let alone Nintendo characters, both for the Fire Pass and future Smash Bros. games. He has competition, and it's not like he's the next in line third party character to add. I could name probably at least 10 that make more sense than him. But I could also name a crap ton of third-party characters. He makes more sense than as well. So it, it varies depending on what they want to do. If Nintendo really wants to push the character, the future of the character, and so on and so forth. But I'd say about 40% chance makes sense for Spyro. He stands a chance. Just not the best of ones. But there you go. That's about it. And that's it for... Spiral the Dragon. Put in the comments if you guys like that moveset, the head bash, supercharged, the flames, and like doing electric attacks and bubbles and wind and whatnot, representing both the newer games and the older games clashing together and not just make it just charge and fire like the older games, but like throwing in some of those elemental dragon spirit breath things from like the newer ones and making his moveset very diverse. Is the final smash makes sense? It's 40% too high, too low. The reasons I said he deserves again or makes sense again. To, you know, make sense or not? What reasons would you have? What moves that would you do? Put in the comments section below, discuss it on there, and let's enjoy this slowly building ride to 150 in my list. I only have about like 13 characters now. I'm almost there! And that's it for Spiral the Dragon. My name is Typhus Fun. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. Have a lovely day, and see you all later in the next video when 138 is a return to Fire Emblem! Yeah! But I will say this 138 is going to be my Final Fire Emblem character in this list. Finally, I'm sure some of you are probably saying, He's put too many Fire Emblem characters in this list! Fire Emblem sucks! They don't deserve the representation they're doing! <laughs> I don't really care. I love the series. And there's a lot of potential characters in that series to be included in Smash Brothers. And 138 is going to be another Heroes character. I know I just got off doing Hell from Book 3 uh, a couple of videos ago. I'm going back to Book 2 and I'm going to be doing... Fijorm. See y'all next time.